What's up, everybody? It's your boy Stevie the Black. That's S T E V W E the Black. I'm back and I'm here to give you another post game review. Mm. So we pretty much got our butt kicked by us by the Seattle Seahawks. Mm. I have to say it it doesn't make me angry. Because it's the Seattle Seahawks. Like, my brothers kept laughing at me, thinking, how your team's losing? I'm like, we're losing to the Seattle Seahawks, okay? It's not like we're losing to, um, it's not like we're losing to, um, what's that team? Like, the Jaguars or the, uh, or the San Francisco 49ers or, or any of the bad teams. We were losing to a good team. I kept trying to explain that to him. And one of my brothers is a Steelers fan, and they beat the Browns. And I'm like, calm down, you beat the Browns, Okay. You beat the Browns. Like, calm down. You're supposed you have Ben Roethlisberger and all those guys out there, and you lose to the Browns, and there's something seriously wrong with the Steelers. But uh everybody has been I, I didn't see much of the game. Like it was on TV, but I was busy making dinner, so I wasn't really paying attention as much as I would like. But uh from what I saw. We got dominated. We lost Ryan Matthews. And we lost Sproles. And we lost Big V. We just lost all of a whole bunch of players in this game. And I hate to say it now, but the season's over. Season is over. I said if there was an opportunity then we need to take it and seize that opportunity. But right now, the Packers are losing to the to the are losing to the Washington Redskins right now. And it, it's 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 like what is up this year, bro? Like and then Nelson Aguilar wide open doesn't catch it. There were a couple of passes today that went over through or under through. And there were a couple of passes that went through. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? It really boggles my mind, but it just makes me think. What would Wentz look like if he had some real weapons? What would he look like if he had Shady McCoy in the back? What would he look like if he had Deshaun Jackson to throw to? What Stop would to what would he look like? Stop talking to I'm doing the video. What video? Stop messing up my stuff. <laughs> <sighs> what would he look like if he had Jeremy Macklin to throw to? I've said it before. If you had a number one receiver, it'll make Jordan Matthews be better. It'll make Jordan Matthews step up his game. Because he is a number two. You need to cut uh, Nelson Aguilar. Because what? Wentz talking about, oh, we can't point fingers. We all are to blame. Yeah, you're all to blame. But he's the majority of the blame. Because we, you need weapons, Wentz. You just can't do it by yourself. And this is exactly why I was saying... This is exactly why I was saying I feel bad for Wentz playing in Philadelphia because he has to deal with this. Look, we got reminded real quick that this is a rebuilding year. And, and, and the fact that Wentz is all alone. I mean, you look at a team like, and I hate to bring him up because I don't want to bring him up in my videos that much anymore unless I have to. You look at a team like the Dallas Cowboys and look at the situation that Dak Prescott is in. He's got that offensive line. He's got those weapons. He's got Jason Witten, Des Bryant, Terrence Williams. And he's got that running game in Ezekiel Elliott. And it's like he is in the perfect situation. That is the perfect situation you can put any quarterback in. Especially a rookie quarterback. And a lot of people are debating back and forth. Oh, who's the real reason why they're winning? Are they winning because of Zeke? Or are they winning because of Dak? 
I mean, probably both most majority of y'all will probably say, oh, they're winning because of both of them working together. And that's probably true. I mean, but then again, a running back is a quarterback's best friend because it takes some of the pressure off him to make those big throws. And he doesn't have to make those throws. <sighs> we as Eagles fans put this up year after year, month after month, season after season. And we come back every single year and we say, this is our team. We're going to represent you and th and it's just mind-boggling how bad we can be sometimes. I'm not mad that we lost <clears throat> because, like I said, it was to the Seahawks. Would I have liked to win? Yeah. But it was to the Seahawks. Again, it's not like it wasn't to a terrible team. It was the Seahawks. So, <clears throat> again, I have to raise the question. We are, we are still, like... Chip Kelly is still in the air. Like, he messed this team up so bad. He messed it up so bad that... <laughs> oh my, he messed this team up, bro. He really did. What we need to do in this upcoming draft... We need to get some offensive linemen. We need to get a running back. And... Maybe some defenders. Maybe some defensive players. I don't know. Jalen Mills is, is still pretty good. So, you know what? You know, we keep him and everything like that. And but uh, and then in the offseason, we trade and we get weapons for wins. We cut DGB. We cut Nelson Aguilar. And we get some wins, some real weapons. We get Deshaun Jackson. We get Alfron Jeffrey. We get uh, Tyranny Smith or whatever his name is from the San Francisco 49. We get went some weapons we keep jordan matthews because he's okay and he's our best receiver right now and he's a clear number two and he has the potential to be good a very good number two it's just the man needs some help and like i said you get that number one it's going to force him to step up his game and you get once a running back and you have fixed that offensive line and then you've got a making for a success for a winning team i was watching that game and i said if we had if we kept our front seven and we had Seattle's secondary, we would be the best defense in the league, without a doubt. And it, there's not much I can say about the game because, like I said, I was making dinner, so there's not much of it I saw. I mean, I saw I would turn my head every chance I could just to get a peek, you know. And so, um, but yeah, man, like. <sighs> five and five. Thank God we're undefeated at home, but now we got the Packers to worry about. They've lost like five straight, now or four straight, if they lose this game, if they don't come back. And we seriously need to get... I mean... The fact that the Washington Redskins, the Giants, and the Cowboys look this good, it's just, it makes me feel like, why can't the Eagles be this good, man? Why, bro? Like, we got our quarterback, now we just need to build around him. That's really all we need to do. <clears throat> I love being an Eagles fan. It hurts when we lose, and... I can't really tell you why. Maybe it's because I just love their fight. The fact that we don't give up. There are games where they give up. Flat out just give up. But, or they just don't show up to play. But, I don't think Wentz is one of those guys who do that. I mean, really, if you think about it, the fact that we were saying earlier a couple of weeks ago, should we fire Doug Peterson, I think says something about how this year has gone. And I understand it's a rebuilding year. And yeah, that would be way too fast and, and say, oh, we need to fire this man. But we need to get this man some tough. We need a Pete Carroll as a coach. We need a, a Bill Belichick or a tough coach, someone to wake these guys up because Lord knows Doug Peterson ain't doing it. Oh. <sighs> 
that's really all I have to say. I have nothing else. I know this sounds like a ramble. It doesn't really sound like anything. Like I said, I didn't get the watch, chance to watch most of the game. And Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks are back. And again, people will say, oh, no, they just beat the Eagles. You know, they weren't really that good of a team anyway. They haven't beat anybody. They beat the Patriots. They continue to look good. They get good and hot at the right time. And while Dallas may be 9-1, and one, it still will be Seattle versus uh, Dallas in the NFC Championship game. And I think we all know who I'll be rooting for in that game. I'm rooting for the Dallas. No, I'm just playing. Um, yeah, yeah, that's really about it. I mean, nothing else to talk about, nothing else to say. That's, that's, that's really it. I mean, if, if I come up with something else, obviously I've got tomorrow to do that. I've got tomorrow to do that, to come up with whatever we need to do to help this team win or my final thoughts on the game and everything and looking on forward for the rest of the schedule, which really, like I said, there's no point in doing at this point because the season is over. Yeah, we may have a 500 record and yeah, we may be undefeated at home. But at this point, I don't know if we can beat the Packers next week because we're so depleted. Half our guys got injured in the game. We don't got Sproles. We don't got Matthews. We don't got, uh, I think, Connor Barwin got hurt. Big V got hurt. <sighs> Bro, we, we are so limited, man. It has to happen to the Eagles. It has to happen to them. It don't happen to nobody else. I mean, yeah, everybody gets injured every single day and every single game. That's what I'm saying, that we're not the only to be injured. But I'm saying when bad things happen in this division, it happens to the Eagles. Like, they just shut down. Even when in the Super Bowl, Nick Nabb threw, like, three picks and threw the pick that would have won us the game. So still, something like this always has to happen to us, bro. It's, it's, it's funny when you're an Eagles fan, man. It's just It's just you expect these things. You really do. Huh. Anyway, that's about the video for today. I don't got nothing else to talk about, but if I do, you'll definitely catch it tomorrow. Please subscribe to the channel, and if you're not down with that, just got two words for you. Peace out. Oh, I don't know if I'll do it today or tomorrow, but look out for the Survivor Series review. That's why I just didn't post this video sooner, because I was watching Survivor Series, and bro, that pay-per-view, I'm going to have to give it... 6.57 out of 10, like, th there were some matches, the, like, matches were good, matches were real good, talked to my friend Addy, who's also a WWE fan, he was like, oh, I wasn't interested in this, any of these matches, I was like, are you serious, bro, and I know they don't look appealing, but the matches were great, I mean, they weren't great, great, but they were good, and, and the outcomes were not like what we expected at all, so, yeah, anyway, that's it, peace out, y'all.